the Center for Health Journalism partners with journalists and newsrooms in California and beyond. Jonelle Alicia's reporting could save lives. Her story shed light on how Washington state officials missed clues to a rare and fatal birth defect confronting rural and Latino families. Policies have now changed. You know, at a time of dwindling resources, um, having the ability to dive deeply into this project, um, not only to aid the reporting, but also to help with the community outreach part of it. I think all told, what the fellowship did is it let us um, bring more focus and more resources and more um, vigor to what turned out to be some really powerful journalism. Las Vegas Sun reporter Jackie Valley brought attention to the desperate shortage of mental health services for children who are at risk to harm themselves or others. Exploring the topic of children's mental health provided that perfect opportunity because families and professionals and educators were yearning for a chance to get together and share their struggles and ideas for how to make the system better. We had a great two-hour community forum at UNLV with 200 people. Um, to be honest, community engagement is not a word or term I really associated with journalism previous to doing the fellowship. I never really worked on a cohesive plan to bring the community together, to involve them in the story. But I think it was the perfect first step and we hope to do more. Our family of programs supports richly investigated journalism increasingly rare in today's newsrooms. Kansas City Radio reporter Alex Smith explored the unequal quality of life for residents of neighboring poor and rich communities. With this project, I've really been able to spend a lot of time in these communities and actually talk with people. I mean, not just doing interviews, but actually just sort of sitting down and casually finding out, you know, what these like, people's lives are like. We in journalism tend to look at things in uh, very narrow ways. I mean, just looking at here's diabetes or here is poverty or here is heart disease. Through the training that we received this summer, we were able to better understand that and better understand how we can tell stories in a larger way that really talk about how all of these factors work together. Marrying data with powerful stories, illuminating health challenges, and serving as a catalyst for change. Lindsay Crable Burton took on persistent hunger and food insecurity in Indian country. My daughter and I are Cherokee, and that was part of the reason I took this project. I knew going in it was going to be tough, and as a parent it was going to pull at me a little bit. There is a certain stigma during Indian country about not having enough food to eat, about relying on food stamps. What I'm actually pretty proud of with this project is I'm working, is talking to some of the tribes on what they're doing to address food insecurity and hunger within their own communities. The fellowships allow reporters like Rob Perez to tackle tough, important stories, such as why so many Native Hawaiian youth end up in foster care. When you come from a place like Hawaii where you're isolated from the rest of the U.S. and from colleagues on the mainland, um, you sometimes have a difficult time uh, keeping energized and keeping on top of your craft. By um, The best part of a fellowship program like this is being able to go to the mainland to rub elbows with colleagues, to talk about story ideas, and to be inspired by the good work of other journalists uh, in the profession. Pros like Pulitzer Prize winner Diana Sugg serve as mentors, providing fellows with perspective, knowledge, and continued professional growth. I get to be a coach and a mentor and really a friend to these wonderful reporters as they struggle with these really big, complex projects. Anyone who's lucky enough to come to this program will find themselves embraced and surrounded by help that's practical, philosophical. The amazing thing about this fellowship program is that without the right guidance and kind of leadership and backup and support, there are so many stories that just never come to be. Resources, inspiration, investigation, and impact. That's the Center for Health Journalism.